what's up guys hope you're all having an amazing day welcome back to the channel two videos in a row yeah uh we are back to it and i hope you guys are going to enjoy this one so last weekend was the ohio ghana festival <laughs> This is the first time that they are doing this. Um, it's actually the very first time that I've ever gone to any event um, that is hosted by Ghanaians ever since I've lived in the United States. It was, it was fun. I really, really did enjoy myself being there. It was very refreshing. It was nice to see the culture, especially right after my show. Well, the show is still up. You can still see it if you are in Columbus or if you are driving through Columbus or if you like to travel all the way here for the love of my art to see my exhibition. Uh, it's showing at the Urban Art Space and most, I mean, all of the work that is in the exhibition is work that I created from Ghana and then work that I created here that is kind of like uh, goes with my culture and, 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 and you know, Ghana as, as a whole so uh, it was nice to go and just see the culture and experience you know some of the things that we are missing out while living down here um, living here in the United States <laughs> um, I went with my partner I took my Mamiya C330 and the Fuji S Pro 1. Um, the Fuji S Pro 1 was not part of my decision of taking it. My partner took it, but I ended up using it and taking some photos um, at the end of the day. But I shot two rows through this Mamiya C330 camera. I shot um, Ektachrome E100 that my friend had given me, Sean. And I also shot HP 5 400. Now going in, I knew that um, I wanted to shoot later in the day or later in the evening, I wanted to shoot the 400 speed and I was gonna push it to 800. Because with Ektachrome E100, I don't think it's a good decision, especially if you're hand holding, hand, uh, hand holding and taking photos with this camera the entire time. So I shot the Ektachrome 100 first. Uh, the, the thought process was to photograph people, you know, wearing their African, you know, Ghanaian outfits, uh, take portraits of people at the Grand Deba at the event. And then as it gets later in the evening, when one of my favorite, one of my all time favorite artists from Ghana was going to be performing there, and I was looking forward to that. And probably one of the reasons why I went um, and also one of my very good friends, Esther, was vending at the event. So I wanted to go and also show her my support. Um, but other than that, I really, really had fun. Um, like I said, one of my favorite artists from Ghana was there. And so um, I was looking forward to that. So what I did when we got there is shot the Ektachrome U100. Um, it went slow than I thought it would. Um, there was a lot of people there, but um, I feel I felt like going to people and asking for portrait. I was kind of out of my element, even though I was in my element. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I was more enjoying the event than photographing it. Um, even though I did end up shooting two rolls of film and some photos on the Fuji, 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But then I got into the groove of taking photos, asking people to take their portrait um, and to also finish the role as it was getting later in the evening. The event on the flyer, it says it was from noon till 7 p.m. But knowing Ghanaians, knowing my people, I knew we were going to go past that, um, especially if there is going to be that huge artist performing. They mostly perform like very late at the event like at the very end of the event so uh from the start like in the afternoon going to the late afternoon you know um musicians that are not very known especially ones that are here that lives here that do Ghanaian music they will start performing and there's going to be a lot of people that were dancing and stuff before the main artist that was supposed to perform for the night comes on so i did shoot the ectochrome 100 and then after i was done with that um i did not shoot the ilford hp5 right away that was when i shot the fuji s pro one at that point uh the artist was just about to come on and then when he came on i took the uh, fuji s pro one went close to the stage jamming dancing to the music it was a really great time um so i took some photos and I am not an, uh, an event or a concert photographer, so I was approaching it like I would shoot when I'm on the street. And I think I got some really, really nice photos that I'm very proud of um, that I can or I will put in my portfolio. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm an event or like I said, concert photographer, but in the future, if I have the opportunity to do it again, I'm definitely going to do it. Um, especially if you are that up close on the stage um, so it was fun I shot it for a while and then I thought okay let me shoot some photos back on the Mamiya C330 so I loaded the HP5 and like I said I pushed it to um, 800 and shot some photos and I think they also really 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 came out great I'm very excited with the results that I got. So yeah, that is all I wanted to share with you guys in this video is the event and you know how much fun I had. Um, I hadn't done, I haven't danced that much in a very long time. And so it was really, really great. And um, I saw a few people that I know, um, somebody that I grew up back home was there. I saw them, had some really great conversation with them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the photos. If you really enjoy the photos and the video, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments how you would have approached this um, event or like if you are going on at an event, uh, what camera setup you will bring. Um, I did not bring any flash with me, but at one point I wish I did but i also i'm glad i did not because that would be too much that would be a lot so yeah let me know in the comments what you think and um like i said what camera setup you would take if you go into an event like that i'm looking forward to maybe next year they said this was the first time and i think based on how the first one went they probably are going to do it again so maybe next year uh we will go and then approach it differently and see what we get. And of course, I'm always going to share the results and the video with you guys. So stay tuned for more videos. Um, I, I'm trying not to promise anything, but I'm going to keep these videos coming. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. Um, I'm almost at 1600 uh, for, uh, subscribers. So please do that for me. Let's get to 1600. Let's get to 2K. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.